Hi, hello, and welcome to Leaning to Earth Six Sigma. The subject here is corrective preventive action and popularly known as CARPA procedure and Lean Six Sigma. CARPA is applicable to pharmaceutical industry and any other industry for that matter for continuous improvement. And especially pharmaceutical, it is so critical because uh, especially the FDA standards to meet and patents to get it and pressure in the market and time to market and efficacy of drugs. Uh, all are important for a pharmaceutical industry. It's not the same complaint. Uh, we can treat it the same way as we can treat it in a, um, uh, in a manufacturing industry like automobile or any other industry. So it's very critical and especially either during the uh, manufacturing or in the field. Um, this is equally applicable, especially if there are complaints and there will be investigations and there will be lawsuits and it's very, very expensive uh, mistakes. Uh, in this uh, industry. That's why CAPA. Second, how can we bring in Lean Six Sigma, uh, you know, to support this CAPA uh, procedure to be effective is what I'm going to deal with. But this particular blog, I'm dealing as an introduction only. A simple CAPA introduction, uh, correction to start with. If there is a mistake, if there is an error, and if there is a customer complaint and you are going to promptly eliminate the non-conformity, it is called a non-conformity as per ISO 9000. So which means you need to address the defect already happened, already occurred. And the second level is the corrective action, which is action to eliminate the cost, which means I need to go back uh, to the process where it has produced at the first instance uh, the defect. So find out the causes and eliminate. Uh, that's the second level. The third level would be the uh, eliminate the cause of a potential non-conformity from the learning of the process, the mistakes, defect which has happened and the causes which I have found out and I have brought the new solutions. I need to relate it to the, uh, the possibility of what else can go wrong in a given scenario or the given uh, the process design. I need to find out. So then it will become a preventive uh, action. So this is a very generic example or an explanation for a CAPA from ISO 9000. To start with containment and the correction so I'm, I'm dealing with the what the ISO 9000 says and uh, specific to pharma industry if you look at containment and correction yes why containment because the damage control has to be initiated for example if somebody is bleeding uh, first you need to stop the bleeding you know wound dressing is what we call uh, what we say so the whole point is first you need to contain the correction is to be initiated second would be the root cause and the corrective action so you need to go back and find out why a particular mistake has occurred so root cause and the corrective action to fix a uh, problem third would be the non-conformities and the preventive action now i need to find out whether what else can go wrong what are the potential um, uh, failure modes still the process has uh, it will produce uh, some other defect uh, which I may not know at this point, but I need to find out. So that's the third level. And fourth would be to validate the result because I can't theoretically design a process. I need to validate, run it again and then do it. Broadly, if you agree, these are the steps. And I'm going to talk about, okay, if I have to apply these four stages or four steps to fix uh, any problem and applying the CAPA procedure and satisfy the complete requirements of the uh, FDA, for example, so how am I going to deal with it? That's what the whole point here. Kappa and the application of Lean Six Sigma. If I have to apply those four stages or four steps which I talked about uh, in my previous slide, and what are the uh, you know Lean Six Sigma techniques applicable? How sequentially we can take you uh, through is what my discussion point here quickly. The quick fix containment which I talked about. Usually whenever we take any Six Sigma project, any quick fix comes uh, immediately. We agree, okay, let's go and fix it. Uh, agree as a solution. We don't wait for the end of the project. Those are all called quick fix. But still, you need to investigate and find out the root cause. So quick fix, I'm just relating to that particular step in Lean Six Sigma and containment requirement in a pharma industry. Second, measurement system analysis is very, very important because I'm going to measure the defects and I'm going to measure and report back and what are the defects occurring. For example, in this case, I'm just driving, I'm just taking this example, discoloration of capsule. So I'm going to find out why. So how the defects are measured, etc. So if the measurement system has an error, obviously it's going to impact the whole process improvement and cause analysis of course and the tools to be used etc i will be discussing uh, in my next blog in greater level of detail 
correlation and regression analysis is applicable because we need to find out which are the factors really correlating it and really impacting the discoloration in this case and uh, FMEA very important because we talked about the uh, future non-conformities and the potential non-conformities FMEA is a good tool for uh, anyone to uh, uh, use it and find out what are the potential non-conformities and the risk assessment and the process improvement and prevention and finally the control charts are very important because validation is a fourth step which I mentioned and uh, control charts are greatly helpful to monitor the um, you know x factors movement and as well as the outcome the y factor so these are the lean six sigma uh, way of looking at it any process improvement i'm just merging these two there is a synergy between kappa and the application of lean six sigma so i'm going to deal with with a greater level of detail in my next block with an example the discoloration of capsule i'm going to pick and choose what quick fix and what could be the measurement system analysis what could be the cause etc so the idea of presenting this is lean six sigma helps you to effectively deploy copper procedure that's the whole that's all from my blog this this one and i'm going to deal with with greater level of detail with an example and the application with example which i just mentioned it this is just an introductory blog um, please watch out this space for my next blog on this kappa and the lss with a case study please subscribe to my channel if you like it leaning towards six sigma is my youtube channel please click and subscribe and you will get the notification whenever i release new blog thank you so much see you in my next blog